Welcome to the Hacienda. Rivet here. Today we're going to make something special, iconic, the world famous Walensky sandwich. Uh, Walensky's is just over the border in Canada and it's a uh, old standby in Montreal. It was a cigar shop opened in 1932 which within a year or so eventually transformed itself into a diner. They opened up a little counter to help sales. The depression came on so they started making a cheap sandwich. The rest is history. They operate in the same building under the same family. It's the third generation now and it is truly world famous. I first ran across it surfing the YouTube world and I saw a documentary where Anthony Bourdain and his friend Chef Chang uh, did a short documentary on it uh, and I loved it so I researched more about it and we're gonna make it. The uh, signature is it's got to have all beef bologna, all beef salami and it's on a Kaiser roll. It's served with a Polish dill spear and mustard only. I'll tell you more a little bit more about this as we make them so let's get going. All right um, it's a simple sandwich but it is absolutely delicious and here we start out with the all beef bologna we're gonna make two sandwiches at a time uh, then we put the all beef salami on that and that's the uh, signature of, of the sandwich it's got to be all meat uh, meats um, when they first started uh, cigar sales weren't that good so they brought in their brother, brother-in-law, and he uh, recommended, why don't you buy a griddle and you can make sandwiches on the side. And the depression was coming in, and so they needed a cheap but tasty sandwich, hence these ingredients, and sales took off. And so within a year or two, they just stopped selling cigars and expanded into being a diner. Uh, they make their own um, Cokes, flavored Cokes, and one of the quirks in this Back then, for an extra nickel, you could get a slice of Swiss or cheddar cheese. Uh, that's it. No other cheese available. And it only has mustard. No other condiments. Nothing. If you did not want mustard, they still have the original sign on the wall. It's an extra 10 cents to withhold the mustard. Yep. Okay, we're at medium, medium high here. And once the bologna starts... Uh, doming up. It's time to flip these babies over. Okay, there you go. You see how tasty that is. Put that over there. And we're gonna maybe press it down a little bit and uh, cook the uh, salami through. The original Walensky is naked and cheeseless, but let's say we sprung the extra 10 cents or whatever and uh, paid for some Swiss cheese. So uh, we're almost there. It's almost done. All right. Once the cheese starts to melt like that, we're going to take the bottom of the bun and flip it over like so. And here's where the critical parts come. You see how good that meat's looking? Now comes the mustard. You don't have a choice. If you don't want it, you're going to have to pay extra. Okay? So we've got the mustard there. Then we cap up the sandwich. And now this is where they'd use the press. Well, I don't have a press. But I do have another skillet. Another quirk of the restaurant is it's never served sliced. They will not slice it in half for you. If you don't want it sliced, too bad. Go away, they say. Um, so, oh, that's looking good. Okay, not too long. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And we will lather, rinse, repeat. Okay. Ow. Let me move these a little closer together so that one skillet works. All right. And there you have it, the Walensky sandwich. Um, iconic sandwich from Montreal, Canada. Uh, it's always another quirk. It's very quirky. They serve it on a napkin right there on the counter. No plates. You get a Polish uh, dill pickle spear with it 
and that is it so let's go ahead and try it and re remember they will not slice it for you mmm very meaty I do like the fact that it's all beef bologna and salami it's it's much better that way um, and it's sliced pretty thick and you get two slices of each in each sandwich so it's a substantial sandwich it's a nice light lunch um, the yellow mustard complements everything perfectly mmm let's try a bite of the pickle yum yeah I uh, was curious as to the difference between the Polish pickle and the kosher dill kosher dills use garlic in it Polish dills do not that is a good sandwich and yes I would pay the extra nickel 10 cents for the Swiss cheese um mm, that sandwich is one of those things that are way more than the sum of its parts very very good so there you have it you see how easy it is if you have one of those outdoor griddles Perfect sandwich to make. Thanks for watching, people. Take care.